Hey everyone, welcome back to Bazai. Today we're diving into something every developer faces, the dreaded slow API. You build something that works beautifully in development, but then production hits and everything crawls. Let's walk through a systematic debugging approach that'll help you identify and fix performance bottlenecks fast. This diagram shows us five critical checkpoints when debugging API performance. Let's break them down step by step. Checkpoint one, check the network. Start at the source. Is the issue actually your API or is it the network between your user and your server? Look at high latency and large payloads. If you're seeing massive response times, check if you're sending unnecessary data. The fixes here are straightforward. Use CDNs to get your content closer to users and implement compression like gzip to reduce payload sizes. Sometimes the issue isn't your code at all. It's just physics and distance. Checkpoint two, check your backend code. This is where most performance issues hide. Look for three major culprits, CPU heavy tasks that block your API threads, complicated logic that's doing way more work than necessary, and blocking code that prevents concurrent request handling. The solutions? Move heavy computational work to background jobs so your API stays responsive. Optimize your algorithms because sometimes that nested loop is killing you. And use asynchronous code patterns to handle multiple requests without blocking. Never let one slow operation freeze your entire API. Checkpoint three, check your database. Your database is often the bottleneck you didn't know you had. Missing indexes are the number one killer here. If you're running queries without proper indexes, you're doing full table scans and that's death at scale. And plus one query problems happen when you fetch data in loops instead of using batch queries, turning one database call into hundreds. The fixes are clear. Add indexes on frequently query columns, use batch queries to reduce round trips, and always profile your queries to see what's actually happening under the hood. Checkpoint four, check external APIs. When you're calling third-party services like Stripe for payments or Google Maps for location data, you're at the mercy of their performance. The issues? Slow responses from external services and rate limiters that throttle your requests. The smart fixes, implement parallel calls when you need data from multiple sources simultaneously and use timeouts with retry logic so one slow external service doesn't bring down your entire API. Always assume external services will be slow sometimes and build resilience into your system. Checkpoint five, check your infrastructure. Finally, look at the foundation. Maxed out servers running at full CPU capacity can't handle new requests. Connection limits mean you're rejecting traffic before it even gets processed. The solutions are scaling strategies. Auto-scale your infrastructure to handle traffic spikes automatically and tune your configuration parameters like connection pools and worker threads. Sometimes you just need more servers, and that's okay.